Once your intellect gets identified with something, it gets chained to the identifications, and leaves you with a completely distorted experience of the world. If you want God as a tranquilizer, it is okay as an idea, but if you want the divine to be an awakening process in your life, an idea is not good enough. They have been promising us for a long time, in every culture, that they are going to take us to heaven. They promise heaven because they are making a hell out of this place. We are the most comfortable generation to have ever lived on this planet. The rub is that we are definitely not the most joyful, or the most loving, or the most peaceful. The walls of self-preservation that you build for today are the walls of self-imprisonment for tomorrow. Boundaries that you establish in your life as a protection for yourself today will feel like constraints tomorrow. If you are forming relationships to seek happiness, you trying to squeeze happiness out of someone and that person trying to squeeze happiness out of you, this is going to be a painful relationship after some time. Believing means you have assumed something that you do not know, seeking means you have realized that you do not know. Reactivity is enslavement. Responsibility is freedom. When you are able to create yourself the way you want, you can create your life the way you want as well. Your outer life may not be a hundred percent in your control, but your inner life always will. Life should touch you, even if life smothers you, it's better than remaining untouched by life. I am not here to speak the truth. I am here just to give you a method to perceive it. Every human being is longing for involvement. Not for touch, not for a kiss, not for sex, not for anything else. One is basically longing for a deep sense of involvement. The only thing you can do is to stop attaching importance to your own ways of thinking and feeling, your thought patterns, your emotions, and your opinions. Don't attach any importance to them. Then your limitations will become weaker and weaker and one day collapse. Right now, you don't have the necessary faculties to know anything which is beyond the physical. If you recognize this, if you understand this, if you accept this absolutely, only then the other dimension opens up. Whatever has been the highest experience in your life should become the centerpiece around which your life is structured. If you consciously get your body into different postures, you can elevate your consciousness. People who have failed in their lives, they are suffering their failure. People who have succeeded in their life, they are suffering their success. I do not know, is the doorway the only doorway, to seeking and knowing. It is unfortunate that we have moved from intuition to information. Unless you begin to see the hollowness of where you are right now, 
you will not begin to seek something else strongly. A human is not a being, he is a becoming. He is an ongoing process, nothing is fixed. People on the spiritual path are people of unquenchable discontent. It is being propagated that spirituality means contentment. Contentment means you have contented yourself with what you have. A spiritual person means he is unwilling to settle for anything less than the ultimate. I couldn't help noticing that people coming out of restaurants always had more joyful faces than those coming out of temples. That intrigued me.